Hey everyone, it's Dan from SideHustleReliance.com. So around three years ago, there was something called phone farming. I am a phone farmer. This here is a 10 phone phone farm. Phone farming was a way for people to make money with older Android devices by running applications, advertisements, and stuff like that. The idea of running these phones and these applications actually went on for a, a little while, about a year or two, and some people actually made a lot of money through vast amounts of phones. But sadly, a lot of those apps people used did eventually get shut down because people were exploiting them, and in doing so, people thought phone farming was gone forever. The phone farm is shut off, everything has has been shut down. Myself and my good friend Lazy Money UK has been exploring the idea of phone farming potentially returning and giving somewhat of a resurgence to the community. And as this is the case, I'm proud to show off my current phone farm, showing how profitable it can be. So over this entire video, I will be running through the costs, the apps, the earnings, and all the sweet, sweet profit I'm making for running these phones currently. I also wanna show why it is still worth doing phone farming in some way, shape, or form. So currently I actually own four Android phones three Moto G5s and one Nokia 3.1. If you're wondering why I actually run four phones, I believe anything above four will become less cost efficient, which means the more phones you buy, you won't see an exponential growth in profit. All of these phones are running Android, whether that be Android 8, 9 or 10, depending on what phone is and what model specification they have. You may be thinking, why am I using Android devices? And the reason is the applications I'm going to be showing in this video allow you to run these applications most effectively on this platform. There is certain applications which does run on iOS, but I've noticed that the apps aren't running as easy, it's not as efficient, and you can't just let it run passively. Another thing to note is the cost of these phones. They cost me £72.59 or $97.03. So it's just under $100 for four phones, which makes an average of around $24 per phone. When it comes to phone farming, one thing to be aware of is the electric costs and how much it costs to run these phones per day before we even look into like the revenue it generates. So it costs me around 18p or 20 cents a day to run these phones with them charging at least 50% of the time. So anything above 18p or 20 cents will be actual profit and with that I think it's about time we actually get into the applications which we run on a daily basis. So the first form of applications I want to discuss is something called data sharing applications such as Honeygain and peer to profit So these two applications allow you to sell your unused data and bandwidth in the background whilst you're running other applications. With these applications you can just install the app, sign in, and then you're ready to go and they'll just run infinitely as long as you've got internet connection. One thing to note is with Honeygain, you can only run two devices per one IP address, but you can have up to six devices connected to three IP addresses. Whilst with peer to profit you can actually run an unlimited amount of devices and it'll just run infinitely and you'll just keep getting more and more money that way. I have actually left a link to sign up to these websites in the description below and in doing so you'll be able to sign up and get started. I currently make around 53p or 72 cents a day by just running these data sharing applications. The next platform I actually run on these phones is something called Playtime Rewards. So Playtime Rewards is an offer wall created by a company called Adjo and they actually offer a way to play games to get paid and in doing so, you can actually make a bit of money by just playing games. But the thing with Playtime Rewards is you don't have to play the game. That's the fun part about it. You can just download a game and let it run all day and you'll make some easy passive income. The thing is, when you're actually looking into running Playtime Rewards, you need to make sure you've got a very profitable platform. And as is the case, I'm currently running Cointiply, Cashbee, Ysense and Swagbucks on these phones. So I have chosen Cashbee, Ysense and Swagbucks because they pay in full penny amounts. Normally when you sign up to a site with Playtime Rewards, they'll pay you a fraction of a penny. And as you earn and earn, eventually you will be earning a fraction of a penny per hour. And it's not as profitable as it would be if you use these other alternatives like 
cash be white cents or swag bucks and currently i'm earning around three or four p per activity on these platforms compared to maybe earning 1p on an alternative platform and i'm actually using coin to apply as i believe it's a very user-friendly application i use it for a lot of other things i do on my daily basis and i'm trying to get a bit of a position into crypto and i feel like it's a good way just to get started there similar enough there will be links to the in the description to actually sign up for these applications and get them downloaded and get started and just start earning really uh, all you really need to do is download the apps go to their offer section on the application and then from there you should be able to see playtime rewards and uh, download an app and get started so on these four phones i am making about three pounds 37 or four dollars 50 per day by running these applications one thing to note with Cashbee, there is a bonus payment every single day, which can range from three cents to five euros. So you need to log in every 24 hours to have access to it. And it is based on your last 24 earnings with Playtime Rewards. So I've seen payments at around four cents, five cents, but I've seen them range up to two euros for myself. Another must have application on your phone farm is something called CryptoTap. So this is a browser which allows you to mine satoshis or small amounts of bitcoin on your phone simply to get started you need to sign up on their website you can either download the free version or the paid version which is available so the free version allows you to mine 300 hashes a second whilst the paid version allows you to mine 1500 hashes a second pretty much the more hashes you make the more money you will actually get in bitcoin Another thing to note is that with the paid version as well, you can mine passively for a longer period of time. So with the free version, you can mine only two hours and you have to log in. Whilst with the paid version, you can do it for three hours. Once the app's installed and you've signed up, you can just complete a capture and then you're off. With these four devices, I currently mine around 20 pence of Bitcoin a day or around 28 cents of Bitcoin. And it's not much, but it does actually accumulate pretty fast. And you can withdraw this to an external wallet, like on Coinbase, or one of my favorites is BlockFi. So the next app I'm going to show is something called Cash Piggy, which allows you to net 4 cents or 3p across each of your devices. So this is a really easy task to do. All you need to do is just download the app and then get your daily bonus. That's it. Cash out starts at 250 points, which equates to $1. But the more points you have, the better value you will get for those points to cash value. So it's always worth to save them up and cash out at a later date. Finally, the last apps I use is Swipe Up apps. So this consists of Smalls and My Robin Hood. So on these apps, you can actually gain 10 cents a day per application per phone. And you can run both applications on every single device. So that will make you 80 cents a day or around 60p. All you need to do to get started is just sign up and input a valid us number and there you go you can start earning and every time you unlock your device you will gain 10 cents like i mentioned it's only within 24 hour periods so after that you would have to wait the following 24 hours to get an additional 10 cents so overall my running costs for this phone farm is 18p or 20 cents which means my total revenue is around four pound 82 per day after I minus these running costs, it means that my actual average daily profit is around £4.64 per day, which isn't too bad. I think I've only got four phones, which technically only cost me £72. So as it's the case, it actually does mean that these phones will eventually pay themselves off in under 18 days, which is a crazy return of investment when you think about it. So that's the end of this video. So thank you so much for watching. If you do have any questions about my phone farm, I'll try and answer them in the comments below. But if you actually know any applications I could add to my farm or any new potential earners, please let me know as well. I'm always willing to actually expand my knowledge and actually gain some more profits. And if I do find anything myself, I will create a video showing you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.